Okay, so as you can see, big, nice big screen, backup camera, CD player, still standard on this. Hey, I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Lincoln on the Boulevard in Enterprise, and I'm standing with the 2020 Lincoln MKZ Reserve. I teased this on my channel a couple of days ago and had some interest in it, so here it is, ready or not, let's jump into it. Right, here it is potentially the end of an era as the mid-size luxury sedan the Lincoln MKZ in its final year of production here's the 2020 this is the reserve or the 200a now we've seen some changes in that grade strategy which I'll cover a few from 2019 uh, as we have across the whole Lincoln line uh, but this reserve is still very special. Uh, so instead of having a 200A and a 300A, which was kind of the sportier 200A and the more luxury uh, based, comfort based 300A, you just have the one 200 and you can get a monochromatic package, which would bring the, uh, the black accents to the lower bumper and grill and the all black wheels. But this one is the 200A straight out of the box. So you do have these nice uh, machine finished alloy wheels that are 19 inch to so really fill up real well. And then as I mentioned, you have the chrome around the bumper, the nice chrome grill with the Lincoln Star design in there. It's very nice. And I apologize, this one's a little dusty it's been uh, very dry the last several days. So um, black's one of those colors that are, that's beautiful, but hard to keep uh, beautiful unless you wash it or garage it. So uh, also have this um, LED projector beam headlight uh, with nice little accents inside here. And then of course your LED strip, that's a, a greeting for you. And you can see the uh, sonar around. Uh, so this has your Active Park Assist Plus, which is similar uh, from 2019. Again, keeping with the chrome all the way around, so you have it around the windows. Also here on the um, side mirrors, and of course those fold in when locked also. Uh, got a helicopter around us here. Now on the 200A, you're actually standard with the moonroof. Uh, so have the moonroof up here. Uh, you have an optional pano roof or panoramic roof, but all reserves are standard with the roof now, uh, a difference from um, uh, last year. Uh, this is the infinite black, of course, and we have added this vinyl pinstripe on the body line here, and uh, then the cappuccino interior, and we'll take a look at that in just a minute. And this is a very smooth, vehicle so you can see how the the body line there and the different shadows just just chiseled really well in design um, looking at that deck lid how it's curved in uh, this is a sleek vehicle although it's a mid-size not traditionally what you think about when you think of uh, lincoln vehicles but it's going to be something that's going to be missed uh, i believe as uh, they transition away from cars this one is just the standard two liter turbo. You can get a three liter twin uh, turbo V6. And um, do have your uh, satellite radio antenna, it's very sleek there. And then your FM is gonna be in the back glass. So this is just, uh, this is just a smooth vehicle. Of course, it shares uh, similar features and platform as the Ford Fusion, but uh, these two vehicles of course in their last year of production so i don't really have much to say other than that about it it is something that's going to be missed i wish that they would have another generation update it with a few more features very similar to the uh very similar to the continental missing some of the new things like lincoln copilot 360 and things like that um and uh maybe a 360 camera or something would be nice on this car but uh just haven't uh uh, put the R&D money into it. 
Uh, of course, you do have your standard safety features uh, built on the or based around the camera up in the windshield. So you do have adaptive cruise control with uh, stop and go features. And of course, your pre-collision assist uh, with that as well. Um, so do have some of those benefits. Um, let's jump inside and take a peek at this beautiful cappuccino. I forgot to show you the best part. Maybe we'll just stick it in the front so everybody can see it. But the back or the trunk. So of course you can walk up and no kick, right? It's different than our other vehicles, but you do have very seamless hidden button right here. And it does open up all the way and it's a soft close as well. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, nice big gasket here and very big room, very big, <laughs> a lot of room back here. And you can see that those seats fold down as well, a 60-40 split. Um, so do have a lot of room for luggage. And um, again, you can hit this button right up top here or pull this handle down. I prefer just to hit the button and that soft close will take care of it for you. All right, so one of Lincoln's and Ford's biggest features that we love is the touch pad. So just strike your finger there and uh, you can punch in a code and unlock the doors. Of course, you also have the touch uh, handles which go all the way around and the grooves up top to lock. So um, this one still has your old style key. So the very big uh, hefty um, key fob. Uh, of course, everything else has gone to a little more streamlined, but again, this one's just kind of using what they have, I guess, until it's done. Um, is standard with a Revel audio system, so you can upgrade to the uh, Revel Ultima with a few more speakers, but this one sounds just as, as good for straight out of the box. Um, perforated seats here, and we'll... Uh, We'll crank this up in just a minute, but just heated seats on this vehicle now for um, 2020 is standard. Uh, you have to upgrade to an elements package to get the heated steering wheel and the uh, ventilated seats with rear heated seats. Uh, also, the multi-contour seats, which were previously standard in the 300A, are now uh, optional. And uh, so this one is just uh, your standard seat for the most part, still perforated, still the uh, Bridge of Weir um, leather and uh, very good quality as you can just see how it's fitted in there, um, this genuine leather here. Uh, let's hop on in. Uh, I'm gonna turn around here since we're facing the sun have uh, of course everything's going now to the piano key shifter and this still carries over the old style it the continental and the nautilus as of now and um, something that i'm sure they would update if uh if it was gonna gonna hang around a little bit so let's just uh put it in reverse back up where that sun is not really coming in on us all right that might be a little better there okay so as you can see big nice big screen backup camera cd player still standard on this um also you have as i mentioned the active park assist plus as well as uh, traction control auto brake hold right there and uh, you can disengage the sonar um very easy to work uh, system here. Everything's touchscreen, but also you have these buttons right here, turn the power on, volume, tune. Everything's really easy to work. Of course, here's your heated seats lit up and then your temperature controls. Looking at this steering wheel, it's the traditional steering wheel and um, do have your controls here for your cruise and adjust the distance here on that. Also, your talk button, volume button, and phone uh, connections here. And then the older style with just a multifunction menu on both sides uh, controls those on both. And up here you have still have a pretty full uh, LCD with information in here and right over here. So you have that digital 
uh, arm there on the speedometer. And um, I didn't mention it, but you do have your memory seating over here as well. So this is, uh, like I said, it, it's a very comfortable vehicle. Um, as you can see how the seat's designed and the lumbar there, you do have some, some uh, nice adjustments there with your uh, lumbar. You have, although it's not a uh, multi-contour, you do have a couple different bladders there that you can control. And um, the lower lumbar and kind of the mid lumbar range. So you can get really comfortable in this. And of course you have uh, all those different controls to up back uh, to get positioned just right. But it's a very comfortable seat and it just fits you really well. Getting in and out may be a, an issue for some clients. And, um, but I don't, just from sitting in this, I wouldn't say that the, other than the different seat design, which was updated uh, for the uh, Continental, I wouldn't say there's much room difference, maybe a little leg room, but it's uh, very similar and uh, something that uh, I think is comfortable for most people. Let's uh, take a quick hop in the back seat. All right, so sitting in the back seat, I didn't adjust this seat much from where I had it before, except for the seat back, uh, tilted that up a little bit. So I do have just a little bit of room here in the back seat. This may be where the difference comes in in the Continental because I'm having to tuck my feet underneath here. Um, and it was a little difficult to get my feet around the uh, seat frame and underneath there. But you do have air vents back here, so very comfortable. Also, as you can see, you have your two USBs and an AC port there. So it uh, won't leave me stranded back here uh, as far as charging my devices and being comfortable. Also have this fold-down armrest with cup holders. Nice little console here. And um, again, for what it's worth, this seat is pretty comfortable. The The angle is nice and uh, very comfortable leather, of course, very um, supple leather. It's it You can tell that it's genuine instead of uh, like a, a soft touch, which would be on the standard model. So uh, my hair and head is very close to this here. Um, so you can see probably getting pretty loud here, but barely enough room to show you this, this area here. And, uh, I just cut my hair. of course. So if it was longer, I'd be, be rubbing the top, but, um, still very comfortable for, uh, you know, someone and I'm five ten. I'm not very tall for any matter, but if I was six foot, I'd probably be rubbing, uh, the top here. And they kind of accommodate for that. So you see how this was designed here for the roof to come in. And then it does give you a little bit more room, but also these lights here, let me show you the lights. The lights here are kind of hidden behind this. So um, it wouldn't be distracting if they were on necessarily. Uh, and again, this is dropped down for the roof. So um, nice vehicle. I really uh, hate to see it go, but I understand because sales have been very slow on this. A matter of fact, we've we've seen a big pickup in the last uh, two or three months on the MKZ. One of the main reasons because they've got great incentives on them right now. So if you're wanting to uh, pick one of these up before it's gone forever, um, you do have the rest of the year. And of course, there's a couple of different changes in equipment and options, but you can still get it uh, dressed up uh, all the way you want um, in this situation or you know for this vehicle. So uh, here's a look at the 2020 Lincoln MKZ. I apologize, I don't know if something's got my nose running, but uh, I appreciate you hanging in there with me and um, we'll actually have uh, delivering one of these tomorrow. So like I said, sales have actually picked up with the big incentives on them and um, Ford or Lincoln is gonna continue the incentives uh, throughout. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll get the full run out of them. And I don't know if these will actually be carried longer than the Fusion or what the case will be. But uh, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. Or you can always call or text at 334-718-0504. I'm Jonathan Sewell Sells at Mitchell Lincoln on the Boulevard and Enterprise. And I'd like to see you in one of these before they're gone.